the patients who have these impairments take a number of years to accommodate, to develop a kind of stability or comfortable feeling about their daily experience because they're so lost. I mean, in the extreme case, they're living more or less just in the present. I mean, they have their reactions, they have their perceptions, they have their immediate memory, but they don't have any recollection of the past. It's like in, in HM's case, the story was always told, it's, it's like waking from a dream. You, it's there for a moment, but then it's gone. And so they, they become more, they come, become accustomed to it and comfortable, probably because of a huge amount of non-declarative learning that's going on. You know, just, you know, the first, it's, it's like the patient that we studied so, so much, EP, when we first used to go to visit him, he didn't want us to come in the house. He said, what are you, what are you doing here? And then as time passed, he would let us right in and smile and go, and he'd walk spontaneously to the table and sit down for testing even though he would say he'd never seen us before. But non-declaratively, he was comfortable with this.